Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team based all around GMAX Inteleon. So as you can see the team is on your screen right now, consisting of that GMAX Inteleon, the Vanillux, Luxray, Talonflame, Terrakion and Amoongus. As always there will be a Pokepaste down in the description for you guys to check out and try if you'd like and, and there will be a rental code at the end of the episode as always. We'll do a couple of games with the team and then we will throw the rental team up for you guys to have a go with if you want. So GMAX and Teleon, really strong Pokemon and maybe being still a little bit slept on here. It's got a couple of options what it can do um, in the format at the minute if you support it right with different things. Obviously it's got that focus energy um, scope lens set that we've seen before. We featured that on the channel actually um, but we're going with a different tack today. We're going with a life orb um, and a bit more of a, a kind of a, a hail kind of spam with that Vanillux there. Uh, we've also integrated beat up as well on the Vanillux so it is scarfed so it is going to be faster than the majority of the team and the majority of the format so we've got the ability to beat up our own Terrakion with the weakness policy there and start doing some big damage if we need to kind of cut through teams pretty quickly got the slow parts of the team obviously with the luxury and the amoongus intimidate there to help us slow things down snarl support we've got volt switch on there as well it gives us that nice slow switch and then amoongus really there to try and disrupt trick room setup from my opponent's side of the field it also pairs in nicely with a nice fire water grass call with the inteleon and talon flame so Without further ado, let's jump onto the ladder and hopefully you can find a few games for us to feature today. So, Inteleon is, like I say, a really interesting Pokemon. It was one of the starter Pokemon that wasn't included in the ban list. Um, it's got a crazy fast speed stat, so it, it naturally outspeeds most of the format. So, it does give our opponents a bit of a headache straight away um, to begin with. Okay, well, we've got our first opponent and they are playing a team of Kingdra, Politoed, Sylveon, Amoongus, Ferrothorn, and Darmanitan, Galarian form. So they've got a rain call with double grass with the uh, redirection from the Amoongus and obviously the Ferrothorn as well. So two Pokemon that we need to be careful with. Um, we do have the hail obviously that can disrupt my opponent's weather uh, but we have to be careful because we can't just lead Vanillux into this match unfortunately because if we do um they are going to be able to uh overwrite that with their rain from Politoed because it will be naturally slower even even if it is scarf Politoed will be faster than it so it's just a case of what do we want to bring i think like inteleon isn't a bad lead with maybe luxray we could go talonflame i probably do want talonflame in the back to be honest um i do want vanillux i think vanillux can do a lot of work here um sylveon worries me slightly because that is going to be a bit of a problem obviously very good on the special defensive side of things uh, and i can't really freely lead terrakian in this one um but i do well i mean i could bring terrakian i could bring terrakian it might help with the ferrothorn and the dalmanitan we'll go with that and if we can get some speed control as well to help us out against the dalmanitan that's going to be an issue Got to be careful against the Amoongus, of course, but we do have that Blizzard spam that we could maybe start hitting. Um, the Politoed going to be a bit awkward as well, but we do have Luxray to kind of fall back on for that. Um, we just need to make sure that we are protecting it correctly in this match. So as we go up against the King here with his crown, we are going to see Amoongus and Politoed come out for my opponent. Okay. Well, um, okay. So we've got a few options here. I mean, we could even max Luxray, to be honest. Obviously, the thing that I'd want to do is probably um, max Inteleon, go max Hail, and Volt Switch into... Because if we got Airstream, like, they probably got Cobra Berry. Whereas if we go... Hmm, yeah, if we go max Hailstorm, we could Volt Switch out on the Amoongus as well. And probably that combination is going to be enough to get the, the knockout onto it. So I think that's what we'll do. Max Hail and we'll Volt Switch as well. Yeah. And then it gets Vanillux on the field and then we can start like spamming Blizzard with our Inteleon. So that's quite a nice option. So you need to be careful about using... Um, well, I say we need to be careful about using our GMAX move. It doesn't matter. We're not setting the rain with it. So that's, that's ideal. 
But it'll be interesting to see what this Moongus goes for. Um, I'd imagine it's Koba. I can't imagine it being uh, Yachi Berry um, at all. Although, we've seen some mad things in our time, of course. So, that's the thing. We will get rid of the rain, though. That's a big, important thing for us to deal with the, the Kingdra that's maybe lurking in the back. Do you see the Amoongus actually protect here? Which is interesting. Um, so... We're not going to be able to get our Volt Switch out onto it. The reason I wanted to go for it, because if it is sashed, we just break the sash with the Volt Switch. Um, rather than letting the hail kind of do the damage to the next turn. Okay, well, the hail is set up. Politoed is probably going to want to switch out this next turn. I'm interested to see what it does. Does it just Scald? It does. That's a cheeky Scald. That is very cheeky. Trying to go for the burn there, and it does get it, which is... Super unfortunate um, into Luxray. Really, really unfortunate. Um, we could really do without the burn there, in all honesty. But they have burnt a turn of our max. Now, what are they going to switch out? Are they going to keep Amoongus on the field to go down, or are they going to switch it into something? Because um, we could potentially just go Airstream now and, and Snarl. Um... I think they're going to switch the Politoed out, in all honesty. That's what I would imagine. I'll go for the Hail again. We're kind of not getting the most out of Inteleon here, but at the same time, it's a bit of an awkward matchup for us. So we have to kind of try and do what we can. Politoed switching out. They don't have an electric resist or an immunity here. So um, it's nice being able to get some damage onto the field. Okay. Well, we get rid of the Amoongus. Now, whether or not it's an idea to bring in Villalux now, because I think Politoed's likely to maybe come back onto the field. And we don't want to give ourselves... Oh, I'll put ourselves at a disadvantage. That's the one thing. So, we'll get Luxray off the field. Uh, Terrakian isn't a bad shout here, in all honesty. Um... The problem is my opponent still hasn't maxed. They're doing all the right things to kind of get around and stall out our max turns, which is not ideal. Uh, if we'd got maybe an airstream off that last turn, it might have been a better idea. Just fear the Cobra Berry on the Amoongus so much. It's nice that we've been able to get rid of the Amoongus. I'd imagine it will be Politoed coming in. It's Kingdra, huh? Okay. Now I'd imagine the Don Manitan to switch straight out to yeah it's going to switch straight out to um to Politoed I would presume so I think what we'll do is we'll switch into Luxray and go for an airstream because then we get the intimidate onto the Don Manitan we get some decent damage onto Kingdra um and we'll get we still got Terrakian and Vanillux in the back, at least to, to bring our weather in and start disrupting. Remember Vanillux as well uh, does have freeze dry, so we've got a nice way to actually hit the Kingdra and the Politoed if we need to. Um, I'm really imagining the Dalmanitan to switch out, but we'll see. We'll see if it does. It doesn't switch out, which is interesting. So the Intimidate going to be useful there. I'd imagine probably close combats maybe into uh, superpowers, sorry, into the Terrakian slot, potentially. Can't see it going for an ice type attack. You see things like rock slide and stuff all the time, so um, you can't really tell what they may be going for here. Let's see though, it is a U turn. They are going to try and get the Politoed onto the field, so that makes a lot of sense. It'll be interesting to see what the Kingdra goes for here. It is going to get its rain up, um, and I'm kind of hoping it goes into what was the tracking slot, now the Luxray slot, and takes that down and gives us that free switch back into Vanillux, which make this match a lot easier for us um inteleon now with the speed boost we should get the jump on kingdra we're going to see the max geyser it's going to be into luxury there's no way you go into inteleon with that um and luxury unfortunately not going to be able to take that not rain boosted anyway and especially not a critical hit so critical right okay it is life orb so we do get that information and we get an airstream off so we're making some use uh it's not the best damage is it really but i mean it's not the worst either um maybe a double blizzard mm, nah nah no way no way a double blizzard gets the um no way a double blizzard gets the kingdra no chance but the thing is i think what we'll probably see is 
the polytoad switch out here um, for the Don Manitan. So we could make the most of this turn where we can go for the snipe shot into the polytoad, make a call there and go for a freeze dry into the Kingdra. The other option is we could beat up onto our Inteleon slot. The only issue doing that is, um, only issue doing that is that we probably, well, the Dalmanitan coming in, we're not going to get rid of it and it is going to be able to hit Terrakion first, which is not ideal. So I think we do snipe shot the Politoed and I think we just go for a freeze dry into Kingdra. It is four times weak to the freeze dry. We should add speed it as well. So it'll be interesting to see. Okay, no switches. Getting caught out. All right, well, we get a little bit of damage off there. Not the greatest. Um, okay, but we do activate an eject button. So technically we get that right. It's all about this freeze dry. Vanillux is pretty strong, so I'm hoping we can take down this Kingdra. Like Kingdra is not the most known for, to be the most bulkiest of Pokemon. So even though it is maxed, I'm hoping it's going to be enough. It is enough. Okay, perfect. The Kingdra killer is here. The, the king has <laughs> hit the building. And actually now it works out pretty perfectly because with that speed boost that we got with Inteleon, we'll be able to outspeed the Dalmanitan. We know it's scarfed from the, the previous turn, so it can't protect. We can get rid of that and then just freeze dry the Politoed. And we got Terrakion in the back. So I think we've got this one wrapped up pretty nicely. Um, a bit sketchy at times, but we've managed to come through this one and Inteleon doing some nice work with our little ice cream friend, Vanillux. I do love these these Pokemon. This pairing is uh, is like one of those pairings like I really have like a massive soft spot for. I do love Inteleon as uh, one of the new starters. The G-Max form is amazing. And uh, who doesn't love Vanillux? I mean, it's an ice cream. It's like, it's a, it, the, the design's so wacky. It's so cool. I do love it a lot. Um, Politoed. Another one of my favorites, of course, Politoed. Um, fortunately, I don't really have that much confidence in Rain um, at the moment. Maybe that'll change with Crown Tundra and we get the introduction to some maybe um, other Pokemon to help support it a little bit, um, make it a bit more viable. Um, but at the minute, Rain doesn't feel like it's having the best of times. Uh, I still think it can work. We've seen some teams that do. Um, have done quite well in the format i just don't feel like it's um it's quite there yet unfortunately but um definitely has a easier time in series six than it did in series five for sure but it's still not kind of making the splash that i'd like it to which is sad because rain's definitely one of my favorite archetypes it's definitely a favorite weather of mine but unfortunately even if something is your favorite doesn't make it good <laughs> <laughs> but feel free to disagree with me. I'd love to hear any counter arguments in the comment section down below. It'd be great to hear from you guys, as it always is. Okay, well, that's a nice win for us to start with today. And um, I'm kind of hoping we can get the beat up strategy working in our next episode, uh, in our next game. Uh, that would be that'd be really good if we can get the Vanillux kind of tracking core working just to show that side of the team off as well. Um, or just the blizzard spam. It'd be nice just to just blizzard spam from the good old days. I love a bit of blizzard spam. The chances of getting a freeze are very, very probable. So that would always be good. And uh, showcasing a freeze would be kind of nice, especially if we had that episode. Um, was it over the weekend? We <laughs> had the double freeze on the Draco's old team, which was pretty brutal. Okay, we got our next opponent playing. Rhyperia, Amoongus, Ferrothorn. So we got that double grass type again, again. So yeah, um, I mean, it makes sense. They do both do different things. One's redirection, one's obviously disruption, uh, and one can just create win conditions super easily. But um, they're paired up anyway with the Talonflame, the Dusclops, and Primarina. So pretty heavy trick room team here you've got the talent flame which probably is more offering i mean it may be a split you know you might have tailwind and trick room mods there like primarina and riperia can work in both both forms um but i think they're more likely to go the trick room route 
um, in all honesty, um, which makes me feel like, which makes me feel like we could potentially go um, Talon for the taunt at least, and Inteleon. I mean, the Prim Arena does scare me slightly. Um, so we need to be super careful around that. The other option is Vanillux and Teraki, and we could just go for the beat up straight away, which is which would be quite nice. I think we need Amoongus. Um, and do we bring in Teleon or Talonflame? Maybe Talonflame is the one, because uh, otherwise, uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Um, let's bring in Teleon. Can we lock it? I don't think we're locked in. I think <laughs> I think we timed out. Faffing round again, faffing round. But let's see. At least we got Anteleon and Vanilla, so we can just go. You can just spam, spam Blizzard if we want. Turn one. We'll see what my opponent does. No Taraki in this game, though. I don't think. I think Luxury and Talonflame in the back, which is not good because we need we needed Amoongus. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well. 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 I mean, we can Blizzard spam here for sure. Uh, and hope we get a freeze on the uh, the Dusclops. That would be the best case scenario ever. I don't see the Amoongus. The Amoongus has to protect. Has to protect. But we will just go Blizzard, Blizzard. There's no reason not to. Um, it will be enough to get rid of the Amoongus. And we've got a good chance to maybe freeze the Dusclops, which is what we're going for. We're praying to the RNG gods. Let's do it. I believe that we can do it. Among Us actually switching out. So whatever's coming in is gonna take an absolute pelting. Well, maybe not, but we could still freeze the Primarina. There's still the chance as the first Blizzard, not doing as much as we really want. And second Blizzard, get the freeze. Do we get a freeze? We get a freeze. <laughs> we get the freeze come on there we go the trick room goes up doesn't matter though it doesn't matter it's fine it's fine we get the freeze that's all that matters okay so excited about that freeze <laughs> so excited about the freeze come on let's do this let's do this we'll keep the free should we just keep going blizzard spam i mean they're probably going to play pain split us so we could potentially max go hydra snipe uh, I don't feel like it's a good idea to max though at the minute when we're in trick room. It's probably not the best. We could potentially just go for a double blizzard again. I mean, the chances of getting a freeze onto the Dusclops, pretty good, I think. Uh, the Primarina is not likely to have... Yeah, it's just got Nightshade, so maybe. Okay. Teleon. Yeah. Primarina Frozen. This is... This is... This is awesome. Okay. If we can... We can just keep this. Come on, get another freeze. We need another freeze. We need another freeze. That's what we need. I'm going to have to switch Inteleon out, I think, this next turn. Can we get another? No, there's no freeze there. Has the Dusclops got Pain Split, though? That's the big question. That is the question. Um, I think maybe it's good to switch Inteleon out now. Um, potentially get Luxray onto the field. We could get Talonflame onto the field as well. Um, or we could just protect Inteleon this turn and then go from there. Uh, I just worry about the Amoongus coming onto the field again if we take, we can deal with, hmm, yeah, because Inteleon's definitely in Nightshade range now. Um, it's probably better to keep Talonflame healthy at the moment. We'll go for another free, we'll go for another Blizzard, of course. That's what we need to do. Um, if, if they've got Pain Split, they're going to go onto the Vanillux. Um, but I don't want to risk Inteleon here. And I think it's better rather than just protecting here, taking chip damage. Um, it might be quite important later on in this game. So there's a Nightshade yet. Yeah. It's into Vanillux this time. That's interesting. Predicting the switch. Primarinist is frozen, which is ideal. As we get another Blizzard. Can we get another freeze? Come on. We need that. We need that extra freeze. We don't get it. But we got rid of the Dusclops. Who would have thought? And... Uh, Primarina, oh, barely hanging on, barely hanging on with the skin of its teeth. Amoongus is going to come back in now for sure. And it's going to try and disrupt us with its uh, spores, redirection, sleep powder, and all that jazz, which is not great. But how many turns of Trick Room have we got left? Two. Okay. Let's go for a Snarl. I mean, the, the other thing is we could potentially... I just worry about the Rhyperia being in the back as well, because I'd imagine you probably have Rhyperia. I don't want to max Luxray 
and then that'd be the case because we could max and go for um electric terrain so we can't be put to sleep um which actually might not be a bad idea in all honesty it's just if the right period is the last pokemon in the back i mean that shouldn't matter too much um let's go for that let's go max lightning and um yeah let's just blizzard again with vanillax i guess but they're gonna spore if they spore luxury then well that's that they're not gonna redirect though because there's no redirect in the blizzard so it doesn't make much sense there it kind of makes more sense to stop the blizzard um because that's the thing that's threatening your Amoongus right now Oh, it protects. You're a, you're a madman. You are a madman, allowing us to get this terrain up. Oh, Primarina actually thaws. It goes Dazzle Gleam, so it's going to get some decent damage off onto Vanillux. Uh, but we do get the electric terrain up, which is the big thing for us here. Um, that is going to protect us against Imungus. Um, But, I mean, <laughs> the fact that we got the, the freeze onto Primarina kind of helped us out quite a lot. Now, what's the last Pokemon going to be? If it's something like Ferrothorn, we're fine. We're super fine. We've got Talonflame in the back. We can bring it in, Heat Wave, go from there. And my opponent hasn't maxed yet as well, so we do need to keep that in mind. But with the immunity to... Okay, it's Talonflame. That's perfect. Per uh, literally perfect. It's not so good um, in the fact that... We've got redirection um, as a thing. Um, I mean, we could max lightning, but it's not really going to do very much, is it? We could max knuckle, boost our attack a bit. Um, we could max darkness. We'll lower their special defense, which will probably help if Vanillux comes back in later on in this match. Um, and there isn't a tailwind. Yeah, I mean, that's probably not a bad idea to go for max darkness and switch into Talonflame, I think. I don't really want to lose Vanillux in Teleon because I feel like they might be good late game, especially if the Brave Bur uh, the Talonflame's Gale Wings is broke. Um, Vanillux will be able to hit first as long as we get a tail Tailwind up. Um, I'd imagine we'll probably see a Brave Bird from the opposing Talonflame into ours. Yep. And the Rage Powder coming out. Yeah. So it's not going to do, it's not doing anything at all. It really isn't, especially because it's coming off a, um, I'm going to try and get a tailwind up here. I think that's maybe a better thing to do as the trick room should end now. Or is it one? Yeah. Dimensions turn back to normal. Okay. Well, we'll try and get, um, a tailwind up. It's going to be a speed tie though between the two Talon flames. Now, the other option is we go after the Amoongus get rid of that but the Amoongus may protect here fearing that and they may try and just brave bird us I don't know if they protect though if they protect the Amoongus then uh the thing is I think oh wow what are they maxing is this Talonflame or is this Amoongus it will come down to it's the Talonflame it comes down to speed tie again though doesn't it it will come down to speed tie uh whether we get a tailwind up um, and I'm hoping we are max speed, jolly, so we should have a good chance. Looks like we're going to get it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. The Rage Powder thrown off. And we do get it. Okay, that's perfect. So we've got the speed advantage when Inteleon comes in. We can ju just double Blizzard. Uh, max Lightning going to come out again. You have to Rage Powder. This should do a bit more damage. Yeah, and that's definitely in Blizzard range now, which is ideal. Um, Airstream coming out. Okay. That's fine. That's super fine. Because now we bring Vanillux in. Get rid of the Amoongus. And then Luxray can take care of the Talonflame. <clears throat> so that is ideal. Because even with the, the plus one speed boost uh, Talonflame. Oh, we got one Blizzard left. One. <clears throat> okay. But I mean, it's one is all we need. The Amoongus can protect. But the Tal mm, I guess the Talonflame could protect as well. Um, and then we are a little bit screwed because <laughs> then got no blizzards left we blizzarded ourselves out but let's hope my opponent doesn't do that 
and go wild charge and we'll go blizzard i've even pp maxed them so it's not like we've 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 not done that we've actually um what are we gonna see rage powder perfect there we go we've got this game locked it up in the bag yeah the, the biggest problem there would be the max guard and the protect uh, that deals obviously the max darkness coming in handy there uh gonna be able to get rid of the among us uh town flame probably goes flame oh it goes airstream again trying to match our tailwind um which is fine because now the wild charge will take it down um from luxury we've got the electric train boost so there's no doubt about it that uh, luxury are going to be able to finish this one off and actually even though we got pretty lucky early on with that freeze um it's going to happen though if you're playing like double blizzard it will happen um i mean this has been quite a nice match i've enjoyed this of course i have <laughs> we had the rng on side but the most important thing is i hope you guys at home have enjoyed it i'd love to hear your comments about the games today of course as always what your thoughts are on the team and uh, of course if you do try the team out um i'll be throwing the rental team up in a moment i would love to hear your thoughts on the team and uh, if you have had a good time playing it so like i say going over to the rental team and with us churning out so many teams at the minute obviously producing the rental cards I am having to take all the teams down that we've featured recently. So if there is teams, I keep saying this, but as a, just a reminder to you guys, if there are teams that we've had up, and now I'm going to be throwing the Gengar Urshifu team up again on my alternative switch. So if there are other teams that you would like to see that we have been featuring recently, um, that you would like to see up again, then do let me know. I think I'm going to have to take the Perish down, to be honest. Hmm. It's a bit tricky because I know the Perish is quite um i think actually the diggers b1 is probably the one isn't as new so we'll take diggers b down but like i say when taking it down it doesn't mean i can't put it back up i can put it on my other switch i've got five slots free on there that we can use and uh, i can put teams up there so but for today we will make this one public and um hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with it inteleon definitely a fun pokemon especially when it's paired with that vanilla because you can have a lot of fun the team feels pretty stable as well so um i think it will do you good uh, it will serve you well i should say if you do play it on the ladder but there's the code all right friends um yeah have fun with it as you can see there's the team uh the poker paste is down in the description like i always uh, mentioned earlier um and yeah just have a lot of fun with the team if you try it out it is very very fun as you can see we've had two really nice battles with it today and they've both been extremely fun so i'm sure you will have fun if you try it out I've said fun too many times but as always if you have enjoyed this video please drop a like on the, uh, the video itself it does really help the channel out and lets me know more than anything that you are enjoying this sort of content and also if you are new to the channel make sure you do hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get all the up-to-date notifs when these episodes go out as well as our other pokemon content that we do we do have a lot lined up i am doing a live stream tonight over on twitch and we're going to be looking at the players cup and um, preparation for that teams to expect and what you can do to better prepare for that starting this week on friday registration i believe is still open at this moment in time so if you haven't registered and you want to play you can do that and it's all on the switch uh, but i'll be covering that in a, a video before the tournament starts so uh do catch that come across 8 p.m this evening if you are around it'll be a lot of fun we've got some cool guests coming on to talk and give you all the insights that you'll need for that starting this weekend but um i'll leave it there friends have a great rest of your days thanks for tuning in as always and i'll see you all for the the next one so take care be kind to yourselves be kind to each other and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care bye bye